So, Jeanette's sister root. Uh, I had to perform a factory reset on my uh, primary Android device, the Q2LE. How do I put it? It started lagging, or as I should say, not that lagging, but locking up for minutes at a time. Yep, up to five minutes. So, if you could imagine how frustrating that was. That would be if you're in the middle of a phone call and all of a sudden it cuts out you think the call dropped. Meanwhile, it still shows it's on the phone call acceptance screen and you cannot end the call, you cannot change anything, the device is completely unresponsive. What can you do? Nothing. You can either wait until it uh, resumes and everything just flies by it long since after the call is lost. Or you can black it out and turn it back on. I had to do that. As for in the middle of responding to text messages, that was also happening. And the other problem, uh, when I was responding to email, the other thing, and using ordinary web browsers, ordinary containers, you know, apps, I use very few of them. It was also locking up. And sometimes, the whole screen wouldn't even fucking load, it would just hang. There's nothing you can do when the system UI, that's what it's called, doesn't load. Yeah, that's what was happening. That was for the past three days. It was some sort of first, it came to a long pause, then it got worse. And worse. And it came to a head yesterday. And I should have waited until I got home, but I got too impatient. I said, fuck this shit, and I just did it anyway. So, it's all been solved. I don't got to be too concerned about it doing that no more. It was frustrating, but, you know. Oh, and the other fun fact, the Hub Plus site, if you know what that is, you can look it up online. That's the email client that comes with my device was back to its original version, which is largely incompatible with, uh, signing in with Google devices. And, uh, sorry, Google accounts. So, I had to manually look up the information and input it and sign it in. That worked. But I had to use old cool methods. App-based passwords. Well, it will, oh, ask Yahoo, same thing. Use those, so that's not a problem. That was easy. Set that up. But with Gmail, that was another problem. Um, probably not the same for, uh, how do I put it? Went to Microsoft Mail, but it should be pretty straightforward. But I only check those on my computer because they're not a priority. So, anyway. I have to deal with a bit of chaos setting shit up again. The uh, sync for Google Chrome wasn't working, so I had to try it three times. Ultimately, I just zeroed it out and did it again. Clear data. Works like a charm. It worked. Other than that, I had to update the email client when I got home. Found the APKs, installed them, and now it's back to the way it should be. And I saved them. So that's what you gotta do. If you have an outdated email client, make sure you back up the damn APKs. Because once it gets cut off in the Play Store, for that specific version of Android you have, which is 8.1 for my device, and I cannot upgrade it, then you're screwed. Yep, you're screwed. So, it's good to save the APKs. Or, if you use an email client, you can find quite a few on the Play Store, or if you want an open source version, find it on Asteroid. Yes. That's an open source repository. And it's awesome. Just thought I'd mention that. The device is no longer lagging ever since the factory reset. I did back and export my contacts to a file rather than cloud services because sometimes that goes wonky. And I know what that can mean. So, it's no longer laggy. No longer lock it up. Smooth. Typically like a brand new device. Stands the wear and tear. That saved me at least, uh, I was to get another budget to buy $800. So, that can save you a lot of money too. 
if you had to do a factory reset rather than buy a new device because of that. Because of that logical problem, Android degrades over time. So does Windows, not the computer it's running on. So that's also the chaos is gone. I'm happy. That's the good thing. Or is it? I don't intend to get a new device for a very long time. So, factory resets are the way to go. And uh, to replace the worn out keyboard on it. Anyways, that's about all. Thank you for watching. SDK Reels, 4K is good.